thank you all for coming um, to our meeting. And um, we're going to go ahead and get started. It is, I'm going to do like Mayor Joffrey Young and start right on time at 5 o'clock. But uh, we would like to thank you all as stakeholders in this community. Um, we appreciate you coming and taking an interest in Turner Park. Okay. Okay, this is Turner Park and the Hershebet Municipal Park. Right in here, you see where A is? That's where we are now. And E is the basketball court. F is the playground. C is the concession stand. This is the baseball field. And B is the softball field. Okay, Jennifer. Oh, go back one. Okay, where E is is where we started with the city. And we appreciate Mr. Williams for taking the time um, to come and talk to us about um, the basketball court. How many of you all have used the field back there? Been on the field? The majority of us older ones have. And then some of the ki kiddos too. But uh, when we first started out, we started out talking about the basketball court because right now we cannot use the basketball court because the asphalt is buckling and the goals, we don't have rims on it, let alone we don't have the little basketball net. So we went to the city and talked to them about the issues about the park and they responded. Okay, Jennifer. We want to do a revitalization of this community and that's with your input your go ahead, your support. We want to give new life and vitality. When we were younger, um, Turner was one of the premier areas of the city for us. We did everything here. We had recreation. How many of you guys participated in the recreation? Yeah, and we got those cold sandwiches. We got the cold sandwiches and we had the punch and the cookies, but they sure were good back in the day. But we had activities, right? We had enrichment activities, life skill activities, and then we had recreation, something for us to do. So um, with the help of, go to the next slide. With the help of our commissioner, Ms. Aisha Brown, and um, Ms. Uh, Carrie, <laughs> Carrie Vance, who's over the, um, what are you over? Panola County Chamber of Commerce. Um, they were telling us about this um, Portacool Park. And this is in the middle of center. And what they were suggesting, not just fits the court, but hopefully have like a pavilion over it so it will provide some type of shade. Okay, go to the next one. And this is a live picture of it one day, uh, Miss Claire and I went up there. Go to the next one. This one has like six basketball goals. And this is not a regular regulatory um, court. What this is is for those to play three on three tournaments, okay? And as you can see, it's multi-purpose. People have parties out there and they do a variety of things. Go to the next one. And that's just another view of the park. And as you can see in the back, they do have a baseball park right there. Okay, those are the restrooms, and the restrooms were very nice. Um, and then this is their park uh, for the children. Okay? And then you can see a bigger area. They do have a pavilion for the children, picnic or whatever. And now... Steve get to tell you guys the good news, Mr. Williams. He is our city manager, and he's going to give us input on what we can do as citizens of Carthage. Let's give him a hand.
comments said, what about or so far? I'm not sure how they pay this. I think they had a grant. Uh, I talked to the company that designed and was over the construction of this. And so I said, okay, I'm going to put it on the cost to get this. Just, just Can you turn it up? So he said that's somewhere around four or five hundred thousand dollars. And so just go ahead. I'm sorry. If you want to hear I'll get closer to the mic. So this is this is going to cost you somewhere. And, and they normally tell me how. So we can come down and say let's do this for three hundred. So let's go keep going to get to. Keep going. Okay. So restrooms. I'm and I'm and I'm not trying to be a downer. I'm just trying to tell you what all this costs. So we had. I don't know if you've been to Davis Park and you see the bathrooms there. That's a, a two holer, and we had that. We bought that from a company. They build it. They bring it in on the truck, set it down, put it in. That was about eighty thousand dollars at the time. And then the one we're building right now at Thomas uh, Viewpoint, I saw that same company and I said, I just need a one, one room bathroom. It's a little bigger because it's, it's going to have a changing station and that sort of thing in it. And it was going to be nine thousand. So we have a local contractor for those of you who are probably going to be in the bathroom at nine thousand. Okay. Okay, so you see this here, so if you go to College View Park, and this is not quite as much as we have, uh, College View Park was about 700000 for everything that's over there. Uh, we just put in uh, Davis Park, thanks to Rotary, uh, who funded a good part of it, we put in a slide. Carry those, what, 10000 for one slide. Mm -hmm. So we just kind of, just trying to measure the cost of some of this. I don't think there's any more. We don't have anything like this, but so you start adding all that up, and you're going to get to half a million real quick on all of this. So how do we make how do we make that happen? And think the Parks and Wildlife has a grant that you can apply for, and I think the one that you're talking about is a 50/50 grant on that. So if you get the grant, it applies 50 percent of the money, and then you have to raise uh, and match that, that amount. So you're talking about a match of about $250,000 for that. Um, one we got for the walking trail was about 200000 maybe a little more than that. We applied for that three years before we got that grant. And then it's two years after that before they released the money. So it, it was about the time in the process. So well, that's kind of what you're looking at to do a, a grant. Uh, I've talked to the company that did that, and I said, well, what are our chances of getting that? And he said, they have pretty good success on that 50-50 match. The one we did was for the walking pro is an 80-20 match. They don't have really good success getting those. Uh, those are a little harder to get. So that's kind of where you are funding-wise for something like that. Um, now, the, the, I guess we would say that's the good news, maybe. <laughs> the, the bad news is our grant is due August 1st. And I uh, talked to uh, Hunter with the company that does those grants for us. He said, if we can have everything good by Monday, they can get it done. And, uh, but what you have to have is that you go through the city. It can't be through an organization. And... You have to have a resolution from the city that says, yeah, we're going to do this, and you have to tell them where the extra money to match is going to come from. And I think that's really, even if we can get that done by Monday, uh, I think the match part portion of it is what's going to be hard to figure out what we're going to do with that. So if you go to this, I think it's probably going to have to be next year, which gives you a year to get all those things in, in, a, in a row, and then you apply for the grant, and I think so we're doing this August, I think the trade is in November when they release those or when they tell you, you know, somewhere like that. And so then to get the money, hopefully it comes out quicker than what we got on the other. So you're looking at, you know, at least a couple year period or maybe more like three to get that done. Now, I 
I'm not trying to be the downer on all this because I think that would be a great thing if we can figure out a way to make that happen. And I think that the city, you know, will help any way we can to get that done. Uh, but I just want you to know kind of what you're facing to get something of this of this nature. And I bet you were sharing earlier this week. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so the splash pad, uh, about half of that was funded by donations. The College View Park, about half of that was funded by donations. And then the walking trail was funded by a grant. And uh, we had donations for the matching portion of that. So that's, that's kind of how those projects got, uh, got done. So, Sharon, I don't know what else you want me to cover. I'll be glad to answer any questions I can. Uh, related to that. How did you get the uh, donations? Where did they come from? So the, the donations for the splash pad, we had everything from people bringing dollar bills to the city hall as they were in there, <coughs> to uh, individuals giving those. Uh, we had the uh, primary
Mr. Williams, do you think it's doable? Is it possible that we can get something like that in the Turner community? I'll, I'll tell you what I tell everybody is, I can do anything with enough money. Okay. Well, Steve, Mr. Williams, I do know that with this project, they had a major sponsor, right? Porta Cool. Yeah. Well, do our Carthage industries like that, do they donate, Lord? Do they support the communities? Every month you ask us for a water bill, so well, <laughs> you don't have a problem with that.
not say this is not doable. I'm just saying going from a fifty thousand dollar port to a five hundred thousand dollar project is hard. Thank you. I probably should have started with that. Just, you know, some history, I guess. I don't know when the uh, baseball and softball fields were put in. Um, you know, I know the name was changed, and so a little bit of work was done dedicated to the commercial back part. Um, so, again, I don't know how long the road was put in. Yeah. Uh, early Those were put in, and you know, I know there's a little bit of playground equipment and that sort of thing here. And then, you know, as I said, I went to school here uh, back in the 70s, and I heard a long time ago. Uh, it was. And I wasn't here when all of the, you know, the turn was torn down and all of that. But I know that the city worked with this association and had an agreement. Thirty years. Mm -hmm.
State touched on this, and this, this, you know, this happened before state came to work with the city, but just, and I'm not, I'm not sure you're required for this, but, uh, but uh, when the current school was still here, uh, I had a bag, and the mothers came to the city and spoke to that there might be grant funding for the rehab of the existing facility. They had some contractors to look at it, and the aspects of the basement and everything that went on with that, it was just cost prohibitive.
just has to be a, a combination of, of, of being, once again, creative. It has to be grants, it has to be some public funding, a lot of private funding. Um, you ask questions about how to go without asking for the money. She might hate me for saying this, but one of the first things I do is go talk to Jessica Page and these dogs. She's the past master at it. She was probably when I was not her. She's a she's a wonderful person and she would be happy, I think, to give you some ideas more specific. Um tell her he said that in my mind. That yeah, you tell her. Um Steve talked about him going to school here, I did it. And uh her fears of integration, that's not that right here. And uh, one of the guys that, that I play football with and, and try to play basketball with and he obviously a whole lot better than I was is Castle Hale Tom. Anybody who's known Castle Hale? Yeah. You know what he does? Or did he make it tired? I haven't talked to him in a couple of years. He's still working. He was, I think, the regional director for Walmart. And he can probably buy and sell any two or three of them in the room. I keep him in with Walmart and he got out of college. And uh, he was a basketball player. He went to school here. One of the first calls I'd make would be the cash. Uh, not only that, he might be able to help you with some funding from I mean, He might personally donate to it, and, and he's got that. He's a wealthy man. And, uh, and that would be on my feet high enough of the, of the ladder with, with Walmart that I, I think he might be able to, if they even do funding like this, and they may not, they, a lot of these big companies have their, their, their things that they do nationally, and they don't donate mostly. But again, I was with Walmart. Hopefully they, they would. Um, the other thing I do is there's a lot of people in this community that work with Tiger Food. I, that's one of the first phone calls I've done. And, uh, and, and I think you'd be pleasant with me. I hope you'd be pleasant with me. But I, mean, I, I do those three things and you can see where it gets you. Um, and, and, uh, you know, and that's a, that, that seems to me to save our community to do. But, uh, and, and as Christian still help you. And uh, meanwhile, we'll keep doing what we're doing. Uh, sometimes, you know, if the small donor, but as Steve talked about, we can put it at the state or, or, or the uh, or the, the uh, college view park where the lady just came in and unsolicited and wanted to remain anonymous, gave a pretty good sum of money. Yeah, that was really the kickoff for the yeah, yeah. And this is just an individual woman. A wealthy lady and un totally unsolicited. And, and that's what's more or less kicked it off. So, I mean, I, I, it, 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 I used to sell insurance, and it's tough to go cold calls by and add it for business. Yeah. And that's basically what we do. Yeah. We'll help any way we can. We'll, we'll put our heart into it. And, uh, but, but it's got to be a combination of all Yeah, I think.
IRS work group. We've done that and you know, we'll take care of the accounting part and keep that money and know where we are. Uh, do that if y'all want to go that route. Do you all have any questions for Mr. Williams? I, okay, I don't cook. They all know that. They know that. So no more questions. Yeah, 
Someone wanted to know what's the minimum um, do you have to have in order to start that account? Okay. And I think Ms. Wanda, did you have a question? Well, I tell you, um, Carrie and I, we were at a meeting and someone, and we were discussing this, and someone pledged a thousand dollars on the spot. I won't say who it is, but we're gonna hit him up and make sure he pays. <laughs> but oh, okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Someone over here, two people. And I will say the superintendent, he is on vacation. I called him on Monday and he is on vacation. I saw them on a beach on Facebook. So he would have loved to have been here, but he couldn't.
do so. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I was sure that same thing when you talk about, you know, you, you have to get that one person to commit. And, and I think the help that we have is, you know, you can go to somebody and say, we have $25,000 or we have $25,000 plus a thousand plus a thousand. You know, you know we got money on it. And, 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 and then before any dollar is spent, I would rather go to the Yeah, I mean, from the city standpoint, we're going to take these things. So, they committed $25,000 to the city. Yeah, it was going to get to a grant. It was just a matter of going back and making the paperwork for us and all that. It's not going to be going to last for this time. It's not going to last for a grant. And again, I can't speak for them, but I can't imagine they're going to go, no, we don't want to give that $25,000 to them. I don't know. Okay, any more questions? Sheriff Cutter, do you have anything? Sheriff Clinton? Okay. Oh, yes, sir. That's why we're here tonight. We need your input. What do y'all want to do? That. Hold on, hold on. Sir? He's saying we shouldn't settle. <laughs> So the question is, do we want to settle for, not necessarily settle, but do we want the court right now or do we want to go for the bigger project? Be, because, you know, with that, it's going to be either way, it's going to be work on the community. Either way. Yeah, because and we appreciate the city giving us extra funds, but we're going to have to, you know, put the metal to the metal. I mean, pedal to the metal, whatever they say. Pedal to the metal. I'm not as old as Mr. Williams up here. He know what it is. But anyway. <laughs> But no, seriously, we just need to know what we what we want to do and how to go forward. Okay, and that's what Miss Jennifer is going to talk about um, about our participation. But if anyone, do you have any more questions for Mr. Williams? As you can see, the city of Carthage has our back. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> All right, y'all. We have heard lots of information tonight, but. I just want to ask, everyone has a connection in here to Turner High School, right? Turner High. How many of you have had a mother go to 
Brother Turner High School. A grandmother or grandfather goes to Turner High School. A great grandmother or grandfather goes to Turner High School. I know some friends. My dad went. Okay. <laughs> You know. You can you can mark it off. You can just correct that. Trust us with their money to do what we say we're going to do. So, sweetheart, raise your hand. Take 
<laughs> and that means basically like the Easter egg hunts, like the baseball games, and things like that in, for next year or for this year, right? Yes, sir. Tell them it's the same form. Okay. Yeah, if they you guys, it's the same form. We will leave these forms out by the door. Okay. The thing is, we don't even have a list of everyone who's here. So that means we want to make sure that your name is in the list. Pack it. Oh, my God. All right. Any questions at this time? I'm going to give it back to you. Thank you, guys. Okay, I think, do you have any questions? If you want to sign up later, uh, you can give us a call, Jennifer or myself or any alumni. But we really do appreciate the city officials, the county officials coming and um, hearing the concerns of this community. And um, anyone have any questions? Because we're going to let you go on time. Can you get a commitment? Can you get a commitment? A commitment. No, a commitment of a commitment. No, a commitment to stay with it, not give up. Please. Can we all commit that we're going to see this? Once we have our meeting with Steve, the final meeting and all of that, we will get together with these committee members because we want them to work. And I'm sure one of them will be the Facebook uh, champion, right? They'll be over it. Yeah, if you're excited now, if you want to make a donation, make it out to the city of Carthage and put down there Turner Park. Is it tax? That's a question for Mr. He said yes. He said yes. Yes, sir. Wait. Yes. Yes. They can give it to Miss Dinner, but I don't know if she has her receipt book with her or not. He lives in money. I'll take it. You trust me, don't you? But seriously,
Actually, if you want to donate tonight, you can. We'll give you a, a text receipt. How about that? And we will have a groundbreaking ceremony yeah. of some sort. So, yes, ma'am. Yes. So, one, one last thing is you start raising money for this, and somebody gives you a thousand dollars for them to be able to deduct that on their tax return. They have to have a letter that says. Basically, all this burgers you have to have to make it legal. So, if somebody gives that kind of money, you have to have name and address and that sort of thing so we can get that information too. And, Teresa, you'll give me a sample. I have letters, but I want. Okay. Oh, yeah, we got you down for a thousand. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Yes, sir. When we adjourn, if you are comfortable, when we adjourn, if you're comfortable, I'd like to find a phone to make a picture. So if you're comfortable, come out there. When we when we adjourn, go go there and take a picture. Okay, Mr. Mayor, Mr. Chair, Mr. City Manager, or Ms. Commissioner, do y'all have anything before we leave? And uh, Ms. Carey. Do you have anything before we? Okay, awesome. All right, let's 